these kids are growing up immersed in a culture where everyone's a victim. We have to start teaching the necessity of individual responsibility. If you are able-bodied, you work. If you take out a loan, you pay it back. If you commit a violent crime, you go to jail. Can I get an amen? Oh. <laughs> you know, Tim, we should show this ad to your party. Especially if you're going to talk about personal responsibility. Yeah. I mean, you know, all of the you talk about a victim. I won the election. I won, I won, I won, I won. Come on now. You, this, you might, this might have been a little much this year, you know? So <laughs> I. Y'all remember Hillary said the same thing? And she wasn't the only one. But they don't want to, they don't want to talk about when Hillary did it. It's only when Trump does it, it's a problem. Got it. Got it. Silly me. I forgot the rules. It only matters if Trump does it and not when the Democrats do it, you know? Silly me. I'm sorry. Check out what Sonny Hostin said. Well, let me be the curmudgeon, I guess. Um, I, I don't know who his message is supposed to resonate with, actually. Um, he's talking about victimhood and personal responsibility as if um, people aren't taking responsibility for their own actions. Actions. Uh, People aren't taking responsibility for their own actions. Oh my goodness. At least he's adding but I think that. One of the issues that Tim Scott um, has is that he Listen. seems to think because I made it, everyone can make it. Ignoring, what? again, the fact that he is the exception and not the rule. And until. Everyone can make it. Right. Everyone can. We've seen people do it from all walks of life. All right. All walks of life. Doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. This whole talk of you can't do it because these, these. And th this is coming from a black person like Sonny Holson. Which is absolutely terrible. Basically, what, what I interpret, you know, her to be saying is. The average black person can't make it. That is just so crazy to me. And so detrimental to the black community. You're literally telling them, nope, you, you don't stand a chance of making it because of X, Y, and Z. What type of messaging is that? Absolutely garbage messaging, in my humble opinion. And, and, and when she said the exception, not the rule, well... Let me tell you something, Sonny Hostin. Everybody can't be successful. Everybody can't be wealthy. If everybody was successful, successful wouldn't be successful. It would just be average. It's just like everybody can't be tall. If everybody was tall, tall wouldn't be tall. It would be average. Everybody can't be rich. If everybody was rich, it wouldn't be rich. It would be average work middle class I don't know am I an idiot guys honestly let me know let me know that 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 statement she made made zero sense to me maybe I'm the fool in this situation y'all talk to me in the comment section please because that that one made no sense oh well, he is I, the rule she has then he can stop talking about systemic racism Clarence he's... Thomas syndrome but I that's do... what yeah. Clarence Thomas syndrome so whenever a black person disagrees, they try to throw some type. Of, I mean, this comes from the Democrat Party all the time, and they claim to love black people oh so much. But as soon as a black person disagrees, oh, you got Clarence Thomas syndrome. Oh, you are Uncle T. And I've never heard people on The View say the Uncle T, but I've personally gotten it in my DMs. I've heard other people talk about them receiving those same words, okay? And and and, and the the list goes on of, of the of the slurs that come from the loving Democrat party. How many Republicans out here are calling black people uncle T's? How 
How many Republicans out here are in my DM calling me all types of names? Because of the color of my skin. As Joe would say, the proof is in the eating. Outkick host Tommy Laren joins us now. Tommy, before we get your reaction, let's get Tim Scott's reaction to those comments. We have to ignore the far left by disproving their lies by our actions. Here's the funny thing. Uh, the host, Sonny, uh, she wants to be judged by the content of her character, not the color of her skin. And Scott went on to say a great line talking to his buddy Trey Gowdy at 8 o'clock last night. There is no question my life disproves the lies of the radical left. Tommy, what's your reaction to this latest round of ignorance from the ladies at The View? Well, I'll tell you guys, if you're ever feeling badly about yourself, just remember that there are people who watch The View each and every single day. So I'll start with that. <laughs> but also, you know, think about the message that Sonny Hostin put out there, that uh, Tim Scott is the exception to the rule. Like somehow black Americans are already at a disadvantage from birth that they simply cannot climb out of. And if you do climb out of it, instead of being seen as an inspiration, which Senator Scott certainly is, you were seen uh, almost like you should be uh, feel badly for your success and certainly that you shouldn't be a conservative or Republican or preach empowerment over victimhood that I said the exact same thing I'm so happy somebody else is repeating it so happy these Democrats cry and claim to love black people so much their actions say something different their words say something totally different and as I said and Tommy Lauren now said there you go. You're literally telling black people you have no shot. What good comes out of that? First off, it's a lie. We've seen all types of people of color who, who, who came from struggling homes, poverty, you name it, terrible areas, make it, be successful, and black people can't make it all of a sudden. That's what the ladies of The View are putting forth here, among other things that they've said about this poor man. But, you know, when we look at this Republican race, oftentimes the left falsely criticizes the GOP, the Republican Party, for not being inclusive or not being diverse enough. Yet, on the same hand, when we do have more diversity and inclusion, which our party certainly has and is cultivating even more of, then they tell us it's not genuine or somehow that the people that are representing those diverse groups are somehow forced into being conservatives or Republicans or their yep. Uncle Toms or any of the other horrible slurs that they use for members of this party who happen to be black, brown, or a member of a certain minority. Bingo. Man, man, see, see, me, me, me and Tommy Warren, we, we, we could get along, man, because we agree 100%. Oh, Rep the Republican Party doesn't have enough black people. See a black person. In the Republican Party. Oh, they're an opportunity. They're a sellout. They, 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 they must be forced to do that. How much are they getting paid? Oh, they must be a Clarence Thomas type. But, you know, oh, wait. I, I thought you just said the Republican Party didn't have enough black people. But as soon as you see black people in the Republican Party, then you want to whine and complain and call them all types of names. What? Um minority group. It's absolutely abhorrent and disgusting, but what would I expect from the ladies of The View? Yeah, not so ladylike if you ask me, but she was also, when she mentioned Clarence Thomas, as if making that comment was somehow negative. He's one of the most uh, successful black men in our country, but she wasn't making it out to be like that, so it's just another instance of the left's intolerance, unless you have a D in front of your name. But meantime, President Biden's campaign reportedly is looking to use Florida Governor DeSantis as a foil on the campaign trail in hopes they can flip the state blue. CNN reporting that they believe the Florida governor's record may give them a chance at the state's 30 electoral votes. I had to do a double take on this one, yeah. Tommy, uh, because I, I don't know if they saw the governor's race and how much he swept that state. What do you think? 
Yeah, again, Florida is a shining example of what America can look like if you put your people, your residents, your constituents first. If you lead with freedom, you lead with capitalism, and you allow that to pave the way to success for all Americans. Florida is a great example of that. That's why you're seeing someone like Ron DeSantis, who is a first-time presidential candidate, who hasn't even announced yet, polling just under our former president, Donald Trump. And the left knows this. Joe Biden, or rather his handlers, know this. They are terrified of Governor Ron DeSantis. So they're going to do everything that they can to convince people that Florida is actually not a great place to be, which makes zero sense given the fact that so many people from these blue states are fleeing to places, and specifically Florida. So they can say a lot that they want about Ron DeSantis. They're going to go after him for all of the culture wars that he's fighting and largely winning. But what they really, I don't think, will be able to do is convince the American people that Florida is not going well economically or otherwise. I think Ron DeSantis has a pretty good track record. And the people that are fleeing with their feet from these blue states is just proof of that. You just can't argue with the numbers there. So it, it, best of luck to Joe if he thinks he's going to flip Florida. It, <laughs> Ashley and I had the same reaction. We both like almost asked our producers, <laughs> what? are we reading this? Right? Like, so what? So just to review, Biden is saying because Florida is so bad in his estimation, they're going to do the opposite of Florida. What is that? The opposite of a booming economy, <laughs> the opposite of freedom, the opposite of throngs of people from the Northeast moving there. It's bizarre. It's like looking at the Patriots from the last 20 years and saying, ah, we're going to do the opposite of that. We don't want to win Super Bowls. Tommy. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. Goodness gracious, man. I can't. I can't wait until 24. Like, I literally have a headache watching the, after watching The View. I legit have a headache right now. It, it's not like a, a booming headache. It's like one of those, like, my very, very mild, but enough to annoy you kind of headache. You know? I, 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 I literally don't understand how people watch The View. I, I, I don't. I genuinely don't understand it. I really don't. It's, it's mind-boggling. And shout-out to Tommy Lauren. Um... Spoke 100% truth, in my humble opinion. Uh, I, obviously, I agreed on everything she was saying there. And then Joe saying they, they can flip Florida. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> huh. so, some, somebody somebody need to check uh, uh, um, the Biden stash, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> somebody might have been hitting on a little something, something. <laughs> Go flip Florida. <laughs> now, I don't support Ron DeSantis as a president, but a a as a governor, I support him 100%. 110% as a governor. He's done great as a governor. I think he should stay in that position, uh, you know, uh, uh, until his time is up. And then in 28, you know, he could possibly make a run for it then. But as far as now, no, no, no. Sit on the sidelines for the presidency. Don't, 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 don't mess up a good thing, okay? Uh, an alleged good thing. The jury's still out a little bit on, on DeSantis, but yeah, I, I mean, goodness gracious. The way he blew out, uh, uh, what, what was his name in the, in the governor's race? <laughs> and Biden said, oh yeah, we gonna come in, we gonna fix things. <laughs> like that's literally laughable. Literally laughable. The 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 one one of the one states that people are fleeing to in droves. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man! Hey, y'all, let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, hit the subscribe button before you go. It's right up over there. All right, and check out that video too. Peace and love. I'm out.